Elegant costumes and sets, oversized passions, and music so intricate it demands attention and involvement. These are the hallmarks of great opera, and that enticing package is just what Opera Naples is bringing to Southwest Florida. That may seem a tall order for a fledgling regional company, but under the direction of soprano Stephanie Pierce, Opera Naples is proving to be an idea whose time has come in a big way. It's an idea that evolved from several different sources. I was um, active with the Naples Opera Society, which is a support organization um, to uh, support awareness and encourage opera in our region. And we started doing joint programs, and the need and the atmosphere to start a real professional regional company, it just from different sources, you know, it started to come to me. Pierce has spent most of her career singing, and since she still feels most comfortable on stage or advising other singers, she wasn't entirely sure she was the right person to form and lead the company. In fact, I was trying to figure out a way to do it that I wouldn't have to be the director. <laughs> but it, it, it just worked out this way, and um, um, I, I think I do have a gift for bringing resources together and um, inspiring them to work together to create something larger than all of us. What Pierce and her colleagues have created is a regional opera company that has amassed an impressive record of accomplishment since its founding in 2005. Most obvious are the operas themselves, like the January 2009 production of Puccini's La Boheme. One of the best loved and most performed operas, La Boheme tends to come with great expectations. It is also complex musically and a challenge to mount. There are four set changes, and there's an extremely difficult uh, act two chorus part. Uh, we will have about 70 people on stage in act two, obviously all singing in Italian from memory. That includes 17 children from the ages of six to 14, teenagers portraying students, um, and then mothers, grandparents, shop vendors, all singing different parts at the same time, and then the soloists on top of that. So you'll have about 12 vocal lines going simultaneously doing different things. The lead roles are all sung by professionals, brought in from such companies as the New York City Opera, Glimmerglass, and the Metropolitan, a testament to Opera Naples' commitment to quality. Puccini especially is famous for his beautiful, beautiful melody lines. And I think that that really touches a romantic chord in all of us to hear the beautiful voices singing beautiful melody lines. The professionalism is evident in other areas of the production as well. The set designer, stage managers, and backstage crew are all top-level pros in their fields, as are the conductor and orchestra musicians. Some of our first, other first chair players are from the Met Orchestra. We have people that come over that, from the Palm Beach uh, Opera. We have a lot of people who play in the Southwest Florida Symphony. We have people who play on the, on the secondary uh, level with the, with the Philharmonic Orchestra. But what truly impresses and makes Opera Naples feel a part of the community are the local people who sing with the company. The best way to get involved is to join the chorus. The, com the chorus is largely a community volunteer chorus, and it's up to about 60 members now, depending on the show and the time of year, and uh, it's also a wonderful social circle. They, they really have a great time together. When we have a major production like this one, there'll be around 100 people involved in the production in various aspects, and 75% of them do live in our community. That's Lee Collier County. Opera Naples is dedicated to building on that sense of community and to introducing people of all ages to the art form. Every season includes a blockbuster like La Boheme, but also a lesser known work and a family friendly opera. In the fall of 2008, the family production was Gilbert and Sullivan's HMS Pinafore. We do it in English. We bring as many children into the action on stage with the, with, with the stars that we bring in, full orchestra costumes, um, nationally acclaimed stage directors, and they actually get to experience firsthand being part of that. Gilbert and Sullivan operas are also the focus of the company's summer program for youngsters, a sort of boot camp for the musically inclined. 
any child with uh, any, any amount of talent or interest, we will find a position for them in the Gilbert and Sullivan summer camp. Robin Shuford Frank directs the company's educational outreach program, which brings mini operas into area schools and provides free tickets to local students. More than 10,000 youngsters have had their first exposure to opera through such programs. Frank also serves as accompanist for the company's annual regional professional auditions, where aspiring opera stars can win chorus and secondary roles and benefit from Pierce's personal critiques. And those are for people who live within a driving distance, Orlando, Miami, uh, working for maybe the Palm Beach Opera, usually younger singers that are trying to get a start in their career, they haven't moved to New York yet, they don't have an agent representing them. And we try and help them along, we offer them secondary roles, maybe bring them in to do a fundraising concert or something like that. Currently, Opera Naples performs at the Performing Arts Center Hall at Gulf Coast High School. But the group is hoping to have its own home eventually. We're really challenged here in our temporary home, the Gulf Coast High School Auditorium. Lovely acoustically seats 1,200 people, has enough space to seat our orchestra, um, as other venues do not. But the backstage space is very, very limited in terms of us having places to move sets to when we're changing to the next act. Despite those challenges, Opera Naples manages to mount stellar productions time and again. That is, after all, what opera demands. Why do people like opera? Opera is passionate. It's, it's over-the-top emotion, uh, very, very expressive. It combines many art forms. You have the visual, the music, you have acting, singing, uh, the costumes, the beautiful sets. And in Opera Naples, the community has a group of passionate people who are committed to making beautiful music together. Whether professional, amateur, or aspiring, these aficionados are determined to make opera an exciting presence in Southwest Florida. Awesome.